That's what we're looking for right there. Sheep's head bait. Tiny little crabs like that. Look at that one. Thought I was gonna lose them. But that's a decent one right there. That's what you want. All right, let's flip this big old rock right here. I don't know what's gonna be underneath this rock. Hopefully a whole bunch of those, but let's find out. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this one here. That's a big one right there. Gotta be quick, guys. Sometimes they blend in, so you gotta look carefully. Look at that, he's blending right in, right there. This one right there at the tip of my finger right there. Good size. Here's another one right here. At the tip of my finger. Look at that. Can't beat free bait, right? I think that's it, boys. At this spot, at least, you gotta get more crabs. I mean, that's not bad so far. It's a good one there. We're gonna spend about 20 more minutes flipping these rocks, trying to get more bait, and then we can start fishing. I got a couple spots I want to hit up. This is that time of year to target sheep's head, for me at least. I like targeting them. This time of year, November, all the way through uh, March. We are at a new spot now. We're gonna flip these rocks here underneath the mangroves. We're gonna start off with this rock right here. Come on. There should be some nice mangrove crab right underneath this rock here, hopefully. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of them, man. They're so fast. I forgot my bucket. Oh no. He has one right here. Got him. Sometimes these guys, these guys will not move. So it makes it harder for you to spot them. Look at these two big ones right here. They're not moving. They're like still, super still. Here's one. That's a big one right there. Look at the size of that one. And here's another one over here. I think some went underneath this uh, this rock here, but I'm gonna go grab the bucket. I'll be right back. All right, got the bucket. Hopefully they're still here. I know there are some that went underneath this uh, this rock here. There's one. There's another one. And this guy here. Small. They are small, but they will work, and they work great, man. Don't know what it is with these mangrove crabs, but the sheep's head, love them. This is the last rock we're gonna flip. All right, here we go. I need to get back to the gym, man. Back straight. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at this one, jeez. Oh, they all escaped. Here's one. There's another one there. Look at this guy here. See what I mean? They just, they try to blend in. They're fast too. Four. Good sized crab underneath, underneath this uh, rock. Look at that one at the edge right there. See what I mean? They just, they just sit there and try to blend in. And most of the time, I'll miss them. All right, that's it guys. Let's get fishing. Punch, punch. Big one, big one guys, big one. All right guys, we just got to our first spot. We're gonna start fishing uh, the seawall right here, just walking the seawall, looking for sheep's head. Um, before we start fishing, let me show you guys the bait. Look how many, look how many crabs we got. That took us 15 to 20 minutes to get, and I think it was well worth it. I mean, you can always go to a tackle shop and buy the fiddler crabs and be good to go. But I just wanted to show you guys how I catch them. All right, let's get started. There's a sheep's head right down here, guys. Let's see if we can't get him to commit. I lost them. It's gotta be down there still. Here 
Here we go. Here we go. I see. Him. I see him right here. Here we go. Dang, spooked him, man. There's another one over here. Got it. Got it. Does he have it? On it. On. It. There it is. Finally got him to bite, guys. I don't think he's that big though, but it's cool though. Basically sight cast it to him on the circle hook. Check that out. Sight casted. Check out that circle hook, boys, right on the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be. One out circle hook. Took us three, three casts, three, uh, three crabs just to get him to bite. Good deal. Let's get this guy back in the water. He's a little small. I like him a little bigger size than that. He's nice and cold though. That's cool. Pretty cool looking fish, man. Tasty, too. If you guys don't know that. Alright. Let's throw him back. Let him grow. See ya. You guys probably can't see him, but there's one right on that rock over there. Alright. Let's send a crab down there and see if we can uh, hook one up. I just lost sight of him, but we're gonna send a crab out there anyways. They should be able to spot it out, hopefully. I'm gonna grab a little bit bigger uh, crab here. So we can send it out there. No way, there's a school of them out there, guys. Oh, oh no, oh no. There's one. <laughs> Sight fished. He's not that big though, man. Small, a lot of small ones. Look how tiny this guy is though. Little guy, man. Let's see if there's some big, bigger ones there. Let's see. Big sheep's head right here, guys. We just got to a new location now, and I'm seeing like a school of like five. Really big ones. Let's see if we can't get one to uh, commit. They are still there. Big ones, man. Here we go. Here we go. There's the crab. Big ones. Big one. Big one, guys. Big one. That's a big one. Big one, baby, big one. Let's land him over here. Oh, yeah. Right here at the boat ramp. We had a new location now, obviously. But, uh, <sighs> nice size. Yes, sir. Check that out, boys. I'm stoked. Sight casted. Look at that. Good one right there, man. He's going in the box. One out circle hook. Does it again. Good deal, man. Easy to, easy to take out too. Hopefully, there we go. Comes right off. All right, let's catch some more. That was a solid sheep's head. That might've been the biggest sheep's head of the year for me. We're gonna send another crab down there and hopefully uh, hopefully the school are still hanging around here. Let's drop another bait down there. See if you can't get on some more. The water is chilly right now, so they are fired up. All right, here we go. Let me show you guys where I like to hook the crab. I like to go in the center and then out like that, something like that. 
Either way, it's gonna get eaten. Oh yeah, they're schooled up, man. Got a bait down there. Let's see if we uh, let's see if we can hook one up here. There's another good one. He ain't that big, but he's a he's a solid one. Check that out. About the same size as the other one, but uh, the other one. Feisty. It's a good, probably 14, 14 uh, inches there, I think. 14 or 15. Circle hook, man. Again. Try it out, guys. One out circle hook. It might work better than a short shank J hook for you been working for me at least so comes right comes right off good deal let's throw them in the box we're gonna go try the other ramp let's uh, work our way down and see if we can't find some more bigger ones snook no way snook ate a freaking fiddler crab I mean, uh, not fiddler crab uh, mangrove crab that's hilarious. Let's land him here. Actually, we can just flip him. Took the mangrove crab. That's crazy. Alright, let's let him go on this side. They're still there, man. Still plenty of them there. Gotta have a good pair of polarized sunglasses for sure. This might be it right here. It's a better one. Not as big as the other two though, but he's a he's a keeper. Actually, we'll let him go. He's not a keeper. <laughs> He's probably on right on 12, but we'll let this guy go. Circle hook just comes right off. There it is. Pretty cool. See ya. Found him, found him guys, big ones. Found the school, big ones. That crab's gonna get smoked right there. God, giant. Another big one. Another big one right here, guys. Oh, it's a freaking giant right here. Yes, sir. Got him. Look at that. The solid one there, man. He swallowed it though. But he's coming home with us. Doesn't really matter. I'll just clip it off and retie with the new hook. That's what we came out here for, man. So much fun sight casting to, uh, to these fish. Like I said earlier, it doesn't matter the size of the bait when it comes to sheep's head fishing. Um, they'll take these, the big ones will take these uh, little crabs too. Good one there. That's a good one. I didn't see that one, man. I did not even see him. I was seeing the little ones on top, but I didn't see him on the bottom. There's like a little ledge right there, a little small drop off there. And I guess he's sitting right on the bottom. Got him though. Alright, another solid one here on a small crab. Can you believe that? The crab's like the size of my, the tip of my pinky. Pretty cool. Didn't even set the hook on him. You gotta get the right circle hook though. I think owner makes some sharp hooks, man. Solid. He's munching on it right now. I can feel it in my line. 
Oh yeah. Good one. A keeper. Check that out. That's a keeper there. That's probably 12 right there. 12 or 13. All right, that's uh, six sheep's head. All right guys, that's a wrap for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We ran out of crabs, so we're gonna call it a day. It's been a good day. Caught six keeper sheep's head and uh, a lot of undersized sheep's head today. But uh, we managed to catch some really nice ones, man. Like probably 15, 16 inches I have in the cooler. I bled all of them out. I don't know if you guys know, but if you bleed out the sheep's head or any other fish really, it cuts down on the, on the fishy smell or taste. Before I close out this video, let me show you guys the outfit we're uh, rocking with today. This right here, this rod here is a Shimano Zodius. Seven foot, medium heavy, uh, six to 12 pound class. I know it's rated medium heavy, but it's actually super light. I have it paired up with the Shimano Accents 3000, 10 pound Andy Black Braid, 20 pound Yuzuri fluorocarbon leader, and we're using a size one aught circle hook today, and it got the job done. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Peace.